almost <laughs> almost got caught there. <laughs> <laughs> little shenanigans on the set of Cooking Cheap. Howdy. I'm Larry Bly. Hey, Doug Patterson. Yeah, How are you? I, well, <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm telling you, I'm uh, I'm pretty good, really. We look pretty it's morbid today, don't we? We're all in black. Well, we kind of are, aren't we? Gee, I don't. And I'm not sure. I think this may be two or three weeks running on this outfit. But I'm oh, is it? But I actually do go home in between shows. You know, I, I do. do. I leave the studio. Yes, now. you do. In a big hurry, I might add. So anyway, uh, what are we doing today? We have. <laughs> do yeah. I do I know? I don't know. Do you, Do you think the witch is here? The witch knows. Let's here see. Here she comes. The witch knows. knows. And there she goes. Oh! Oh, look at that. She a blew up on a my boot, shoulder. A boot in the air. How nice. Oh, look at this. In addition to, she's trying to tell us something in addition to mm -hmm. the letter, we also have this, this, uh, Lovely dog it's biscuit. It's a dog biscuit. <gasps> Larry, I knew you were hungry, but that's mm. ridiculous. Oh! Whoa! Oh. Sorry. One of the better dog biscuits. Oh, sorry. <laughs> that I've ever had. Is it? And have you noticed my teeth are getting cleaner? <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, ladies and gentlemen, it's, it's not easy for me. You have a big thing up. Well, don't you think it's kind of, kind of sexy? <laughs> no, I think it's got a dorky. Oh. Here, um, ha well, hang on, hang on a second. Makeup. The union. Makeup. I hope the union people are. Yeah, okay, there we go. Dear gang of three. That would be Doris, too. It's Doris. Or a Doris comment three. on my weight. <laughs> <laughs> Don't go there. Okay. I'm having a, <laughs> I'm having a tasteful little midday do at my home. Could you guys help with shortbread, tea cakes, and cookies? Mm -hmm. Emily Postmortem. <laughs> Ooh, this, is, this doesn't bode well I for these just recipes. Just <laughs> does it just does it. <laughs> Actually, I got to tell you, I think mine probably is... Uh, just dreadful. <laughs> I don't think I know what I'm doing. I had a long conversation with uh, Doris, who was kind enough to call and say, you need my, my mixer. You know, she mm -hmm. has the greatest collection of mixers. Some people collect cars. Some people collect other things. But she collects mixers. She, this is like one of five or six that she owns. She's incredible. She has an even bigger, puffier one than that that she brings in sometimes. So anyway, she called me. And she said, how's that recipe? I said, well, Doris, you know, I don't understand shortbread. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm, I'm I from the South, bread. and I never made shortbread. Is that the same as shortening bread? No. As that Mama loves? No. Okay. Well, anyway, I don't know anything about it. I told her, I said, this is neither a cookie, it's neither a cake, nor yeah. is it a bread. And she said, well, it is kind of a cookie, sort of, kind of, but I love not really. Bread. I never made one before, and so I'm just, I don't know. It looks funny, but we'll see. Okay. Right, it was sent in by a fan. Oh, <laughs> I remember her. A fan. Huh? Oh, a fan of yours? Mm-hmm. Oh, well. Doesn't Excuse say. me. This is a fan. What do you got? Okay. I have Italian tea cakes, which is really biscotti. Yummy. And that was sent in by Karen Weddington from Burlington, New Jersey. And I have seen what you brought in, and it's so lovely. You're not going to believe this guy's getting really good, and he's very talented. Thank you. And Do Do Doris is going to be here. I tried to call her Dolores. Did you notice that? Dolores Del Rio. Uh, original Girl Scout cookies. Are they the real, really, really, really? Boy, are they going to be? Carol Jennings would know. They're going to be stale. Nod your head if they really are the original recipe. Hey, there we go. See, we got great communication between the back room and here. This is a switch. How about that? That was sent in by Diane Glenn from Buena Vista, Virginia. Now, why does Diane Glenn hmm? have the original recipe? Oh, it was oh. in the paper. So much for that original <laughs> thing. <laughs> <laughs> and they're pretty hick ticked off about it. What are you going to do with that? Here's what I'm going to do with this. First thing I have to do is I have to take uh, walnuts finely chipped. And so what I'm doing <laughs> is I'm using up a few of these, and, then, and I'm just going to chip them. Um, that's a real fast chip job, what that is. As far as I'm concerned, that's as chippy as it gets. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to take that, and we're going to put it in an ungreased pan. I, I need a little more than that because I actually need a cup of toasted walnuts, finely chipped. Mm -hmm. So I'll just take a few more. And by the way, these are the, the last of Toots's old timey ones that were actually hand picked out of the backyard and oh. sat around cracking them, fingers and thumbs mangled. And I've had them frozen. Sure. I'm going to use them for this. Why, are they too good for you? She says, and you use them for this? Well, I'm only going to use just a few on the end here. That's why I used up all those other nasty ones. So I prefer the, uh, the just regular old, you know, these are the black walnuts. 
Yum. They're more flavorful for this. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put that in the oven uh, just for a little bit, 10 or 15 minutes, about 350 degrees. And just toast them a couple of minutes. Can I go ahead? Go ahead, Doug, go. Fabulous. In a big bowl, put three eggs. Then add to that a half a cup of sugar. To that, add three teaspoons of anise extract. Now, do you know what anise extract is? Do you care? No. Okay, fine. Oops. I don't know what it is. It, it's it, that licorice, it's licorice flavor. That's right. That's right. Yeah, thank you. Jeez. And we're also going to put in a half a cup of Earl. You remember him, don't you? Remember. Behave. Oh, gee. He's so mean to me. <laughs> half a cup of oil. Do you know how many times you get to use a device like that? You have it in your kitchen, what, six, once every six years. You get well, to that's true. beat the stuffings out of a walnut with it. That's it. That's all you get to use it. Three teaspoons of baking powder. You know what I use when I don't have that? What? Uh, and everybody just blanches when I say this. I have a great big knife. Oh, bless you. Dust up there again there? Uh, yeah? Is it pretty bad tonight? Yeah? Dust is real bad in the rafters. We need to talk to the cleaning people. Oh, yeah, I know. And people we're going to mix. People just get a, a real irritated when I pick up a great big knife, and I have pretty sharp ones, and I use the handle. To, to oh, really? Yeah, I'm sure. Well, good for you. Nothing flat. Boom, boom, boom. Thanks, Carol. You should be writing a little column. Oh, you do. Never mind. I do write a column. Thank That's you. Right. Get See, paid for it, even. I'm trying to get. Not much. I'm trying to get you some it. business here. Oh, okay. Now, now, what are you doing? I'm mixing all that goodness together, and now we're going to start adding three cups of flour. How does that grab you? Uh, Very slowly. Slowly. Uh -huh. S L O W L Y. Mm -hmm. Slowly. Mm -hmm. And I'm just going to be mixing away over here. So you just go right ahead and do whatever it is you do. One lump or two. Can you tell that I'm using up some stuff here? I don't charge the station for this part of it at all. I'm trying to get rid of it. A half a cup. It doesn't say packed, but it usually means packed. This stuff has gotten so lumpy. It's still soft there, Kevin. It's a little Brown lumpy, but it rains. Sugar. Don't want to overdo it. The stuff is somewhere. So it's kind of a real dry dough, but not so dry that you can't do something with it, I guess. And uh, Laban Johnson doesn't used, this smell good? used to have all sorts of stuff around his house. Take a, take a whiffo. Ooh. Doesn't that smell Sounds good? Sounds like a big old licorice thigh. Uh-huh. Like used to use uh, good pens. He's the one that taught me that. Uh-huh. Anyway. Now, nobody... what I have to do is I have to start uh, creaming butter, brown sugar, salt, and I'll be mixing in a little of the secret ingredients. Oh, there is some? A little bit of brandy. <laughs> You're a that's, fine girl. That's no secret. So, I'm going to put all that in there. And that would be about two sticks of butter. And this is the real thing. Butter. Mm. This should have been staying out all day. Whoops, this is my first mistake in the day. This is hard as a brick. Can this thing handle it? It won't, like, throw it all over me, will it? Put it in the microwave? I'll do that. I'll put it in the microwave. Go ahead. I just, Phil, want, you, Doug, I just Phil. want you to know, ladies and gentlemen, Larry has that high-priced machine, and I'd be doing this by hand. Aren't you impressed, Larry? Do what? I'm, I'm mixing my batter by hand. I'm not using one of those wimpy little machines. Well. That does it for you. Well, this one is, uh, requires extraordinary effort. Yeah. Oops. <laughs> Shoot. <laughs> this is why I shouldn't have worn black today. You just today. got it all over <laughs> me. Well. I love to share with you, Lair. You know that. Oh, well, that didn't do much. Huh? Oh, yeah, it is. <laughs> he, he is pathetic, ladies well, and gentlemen. how do you get this out of he here? <laughs> how do you raise it? High tech. Oh. <laughs> do not try this at home. See, he is a professional. I am learning. Well, now, you've got to give me a break here. I've never used this machine. I never saw this machine oh, until sure. minutes ago. Has it been in here before? <laughs> Well, I, well I, don't, you now. I don't know it intimately. <laughs> okay. Uh, so we're going to put that in there. And uh, Doug, you just got stuff all over me. Ah, oh, tough. That's terrible. Yeah, and an eighth of a teaspoon of salt. Mm -hmm. Oh, and the other butter, too. And, there, and what we got to do is, is just, boom, cream that. I believe that was an eighth of a teaspoon plus. Well, I did a little bit of that myself. Yeah, yeah well. Well, you know, I'll get over it. Oh, man. 
Ooh. And that goes in there. Now just lock it in place, because if you don't lock that thing in place, that thing will just jump right up and fly in your face. Ooh, what's such as that? Well, I think oh. that's, I think we'll slow that just a little bit. And anyway, that's got to do that for a couple of minutes. So that's all we're going to do for now. That's it? That's it. Well, I'm still mixing away, away, away down here to make this nice dough, which really is very nice. And it's lovely and, well, it's kind of gooey, but. Okay, I got to stir in the uh, brandy. Okay. Oh, two tablespoons of brandy. That's, that's all. Two tablespoons. I don't remember brandy and brandy. shortbread. It's looking real pretty, very fluffy. One, oh, did you see that? It threw it right out. I maybe have to add a little bit more because it tossed that big wad out. Mm -hmm. There we go. One time, baby. You always got to make up for it. Now this, uh, I, do I have to stop this occasionally, Doris, and, and sort of do the, the thing here? Okay. Do see, you, I'm do getting, do so I'm, I'm, I'm knowing what I'm, I'm knowing what I'm doing. Why is it? Oh, I didn't turn it on. <laughs> <laughs> it's got so many you know, <laughs> things on it. Oh. This one has a driver's uh, seat. Just the side. Okay, she says, don't scrape that, just the side. I can't even get to the side. There we go. Just get that down in there. This, this is creaming this real nicely. I think it's going to be quite lovely, ladies and gentlemen. Whoops. Well, I am just throwing stuff all over the place today. All right, do it again. Just a little bit more. Now the next thing you got to do is you got to start uh, gradually adding your flour. It calls for uh, one and three quarters cup of flour. One and three quarters cup of flour. And you'll have to add that very gradually to it, otherwise you'll have it all over yourself. One Was and three that quarters a disparaging cup. remark? What are you doing now? I'm taking a cookie sheet. I put a little little earl on it, and now I'm going to flour it just a tad so those little babies don't stick to it. You know, there and it one is. One and three quarters. Now, I take know. your dough and take half of it. You're going to make two loaves, two loaves, mind you, two. Count them, two. And you're going to form, oh, this is such a mess. Hey, that looks like that'd be fun to play with. Well, it is. It's called play. Play with your food. Oh. And you're going to form two little loaves, ov oval shape, of course. Oh, I'm going to get such letters on this hand thing. I just know it. <laughs> Listen to that stuff starting to thick it up a little bit. It's working this thing. I'm, I'm gradually adding the flour. You can see that flour just going in all directions. This seems to be a little drier than the one I made at home. Is it supposed to be a real dry dough? It's sort of like a, a cookie dough, isn't it? Yeah, it is a cookie. Well, it's starting to get to the... Uh... <laughs> yeah, I think it's looking pretty good. That's looking nice. That is, that's all we're going to put in there for right now. So how are you coming with your foreman and your doing? I'm just playing Play-Doh over here. And there they are. I can hear again. And so can we. Oh, that is a beautiful dough. Whoo! Mm -mm -mm. Mama, come home to me. Look at that. Mm. That is very, very lovely. Very lovely. Now, the next thing I have to do is I have to get the walnut. Well, get the rest of that stuff off of there. But I got to get the walnuts now and add that. <laughs> I shouldn't be doing that. I'm I'm throwing it all over the place. I'm going to add the finely chopped walnuts now. They should be ready. Yeah, they're ready. <laughs> For what? I think they were ready five minutes ago. <laughs> oh, they're looking right. Now look at them. See? Mm. Oh, they smell good, too. They do. They're not burned. They're oh. just perfectly wonderful. I wouldn't change a thing. Add those. Add those. What are you looking for? Let's see if the oven's on. I think I forgot to turn it on. What do you need it on? 400. 400? Together, we can figure it out. There's 400. 
That's why you get the big bucks, isn't it? Oh. <laughs> I have nothing to say. <laughs> I'm doing the best I can. <laughs> yeah, all right, what you got to do now? Because we got a lot to do. Oh, what am I doing? Yes. Lengthwise. Testing. Uh -huh. some You're going to score it. Yes. Just make some shallow cuts. in this little mess. And there you go. What's the Pop it in a 400 degree, degree <laughs> oven <laughs> for 20 minutes, which is I'm going to do now. Goodbye. What's the simple way? <laughs> the very lovely Doris is here to help me. What, what do you do? Just kind of clean that off of there? You want to lick it off, Doris? Okay, Larry. All righty. Well, That's here's where we're down to the thing. Now, you don't grease your pan, first of all. It says that right off the bat. But after all, it does have two sticks a butter. Yum. So what could it possibly need any more grease for? So anyway, so the next thing you do, make sure there's no roaches or anything <laughs> in the pan. Well, thank you for that. Well, how do I get this off? It's stuck by the roots. Oh, it's one of those twisting things. Let's twist again. She just does this to humiliate me. That's all. Just to doing show a pretty, what a bumbling doing tool. Doing a pretty darn good job. What a complete too. buffoon I am. It is a buffoon. <laughs> a buffoonery. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That, now, that looks very pretty, don't you think? Don't you think? Huh? Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm asking for her approval, being that she seems to know more about shortbread than I do. Mash it down. Actually, that looks really, really quite yummy. I'm mashing it down and put it back in a corner. It's not going to go anywhere, so you've you got to get it evenly distributed. I found that out. And what you do, take your fingers and do that. <laughs> Sorry, there's just no other way to do this, ladies and gentlemen. There we go. Now, isn't that pretty? Is that okay, or should I smush it some more? With your hand? Yes. With your hand? Well, it's sticky. Oh, poor baby, it's sticky. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, All right, there we go. So anyway, put that in an oven at 325 degrees. Oh, the granulated sugar doesn't come out until, oh yeah, I have to have to pack holes in it. Excuse me. That was a universal sign. You know, she's sign starting to get on my nerves. <laughs> <laughs> she's back there prompting me. While this, these tea cakes are uh, baking away over in the oven. Peck, 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 peck. You have to peck holes in it. Annoying, then put it annoying, in the oven annoying, annoying, annoying. Then you put it in the refrigerator for 30 minutes. Oh, yeah, you were supposed to do that anyway. 320. Here's what it actually says, dear ladies and gentlemen. You do all this. You prepare all that. You put it in the refrigerator for 30 minutes, refrigerator, and then you prick it with a fork. But obviously, you see, Doris, we do this in real time if we actually stood here for 30 <laughs> minutes. Waiting for. <coughs> okay, so anyway, oven 325 degrees, 55 minutes till dark golden. When you bring it out, you'll put some ordinary granulated sugar on top of it. Did you and bring enough? And then you'll do what? Did you bring enough? Well, I just, well, I guess. <laughs> I think I did, but I'm not sure. So anyway, go ahead. I got to take okay. this thing out. In a cup, put three tablespoons of a confectioner sugar and the juice of half a lemon. Okay, I like more, I have to admit. So that's just me. And with my little festive little lemon doo-doo thing. Oh, Larry, don't look. Please don't look. Please don't look. What happened? Ah! Does this come out of this thing? Is this supposed to come out of this thing? Now we're just mixing away. It's not going to come out. Is that it? Well, that's what it looks like. Well, it looks lovely. Well, I think it looks very pretty. It's supposed to cool before you serve it. Oh, yeah, I had to do well, that. Well, it too. sure is crumbly. I'll say that. Oh, dear. This is not good. Uh, I just need to let it rest for a second, okay? <laughs> because it needs to cool a little bit, obviously. <laughs> Give me that plate. <laughs> <laughs> this vaguely reminds me of that upside We're down cake be, I uh, did. We're going to the recipes and the Cook Sisters and, Are we? and to Studio B for another show oh shortly. <laughs> That's another great production. Mm. Da -da -da -da. Oh, he did it, ladies and gentlemen. He did well, it. Well, it's real pretty, isn't it? Looks yeah. like someone sat on it. Okay, here's the recipes. Connie shortbread, a half a cup of butter.
a one cup of butter, <laughs> a half a cup of brown sugar, an eighth of a teaspoon of salt, two tablespoons of brandy, one and three quarters cup of flour, a cup of toasted walnuts, finely chopped, and you, and then you'll sprinkle some granulated sugar on it. And that's what I'm going to do right now while Mr. Doug gives his recipe. Italian tea cakes, three eggs, one half cup sugar, one half cup oil, three teaspoons anise extract, uh, three teaspoons of baking powder, three cups of flour, two, three tablespoons of confectioner sugar, juice of half a lemon, and colored nonpareils. I need a knife. And when you bring your loaves out after 20 minutes and while it's hot, pour this little mixture on top and add some colored nonpareils. I'll throw some on the ones I did. Aren't these pretty, Lick? <laughs> He's not even paying a bit of attention <laughs> to me. I'm laughing about the fact that this is still dough. And some maintenant, these lovely little colored sprinkles. You know, it's just like going to the ice cream store and throwing them on. Now tell me, this is not pretty. It is beautiful. Well, thank you so I much. I am glad that a lot of people out there, many folks in TV land, have color TVs now. Do they? I'm so thrilled. Who okay, knew? and now Doris is going to come in and give her recipe. Good. I'll tell you what, while she's coming in, why don't we go to the cook, sister, and we'll get Doris, because she seems to be having some problems. Yes, sir. Uh, I don't know what is going on. She's back there doing something and mumbling, and I, and here are the cooks. Doc! What? <laughs> you remember me? No. Who are you? I don't know. Oh, well, I got a tip for you. Oh, big whoop. You know when you open a potato chip bag? Love and sometimes, potato chips. Oh, me too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But you know how they get sticky and yucky? And oh. oh, well. If you put them in a microwave for about 30 to 60 seconds, mm -hmm. if you think you're going to be around that long, right. <laughs> let's stand for two minutes and they get crispy all over again. What if you don't have a microwave? You put them outside. Put them in the sun. <laughs> That's the old-fashioned way, mm -hmm. which is what we believe. I'm Tootsie Cook. And I'm Roxy Cook. And we're, we're the, the Cook, Cook Sisters. sisters. Boys. Hi, Hi, Doris. How about that uh, recipe? Okay, be quiet. I had to do the original Girl Scout cookies. Well, <laughs> I'm not going to give you the recipe bye. right now unless I have more time. <laughs> but uh, thi <coughs> this recipe, I'm going to read off a little bit here. Originated back in the 1920s when the Girl Scouts did them by themselves in order to raise money for their show, uh, for the Girl Scouts. And it went into production in 1934 and became very successful in 37. And I have gone through a factory that made the Girl Scout cookies, and I could take them right off the, the rack, and they're really good. And this one here, if you can get a shot of this. She's taking over the show. Well, right. <laughs> Please, uh, if you can get a shot, this is what Larry's is supposed to look like. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Ooh! Oh, she is so mean. <laughs> She's mean. <laughs> oh, man. Well, Larry's uh, ever is so a truthful. little crumbly. Well, aren't we? Oh, it well, is. Well, look at that. It just totally, look at this. It just it melts just in your mouth. It's totally so collapsed in a heap. It's just a mess. Oh, but well. you know what it tastes like? Shortbread. Ooh. Does it taste like shortbread? <laughs> I want a dinosaur. Oh, that's pretty good. Well, that's very good. I think if you let that, uh, you know, cool, it would be Ooh. as lovely as it's yours. It's also hot as blazes. Mm. I'm going to try this. I'm mm. going to, your bread, now what is this? Tea bread? Tea cake. Tea cake. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Absolutely wonderful. And I love that, uh, that real nice uh, licorice kind of. Almond. Isn't that good? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's Oh, that's nice. I'm going to have a dinosaur. This is why they're extinct. Miss Doris also made us all up some nice cookies. And they're really fine. Mm-mm-mm. Mm-mm-mm. Is this a Girl Scout cookie? That was. I'm going to see what her tea cake. I mean, look at this. I mean, her. Uh, they might be a little dry. Like short breath. Yeah, look how dry that thing is. How dry mm. I am. I was watching. The Environmental <laughs> Protection Agency would like to have these along for, you know, like oil spills. Nope, they're right. They're right on. Yum, Doris. They're perfect. Mm-hmm. Well, I want to tell you, it's been a lot of fun and a lot of humiliation. Goodbye. <laughs>